Hey guys, so today this is the look I will be doing. It's a very uh, like glowing purple look. The colors I use make it very like vibrant and make it look like it's actually kind of like a glowing purple eye. Um, so yeah, let me just get right into it. The first thing I am doing is I am priming my eye and I am using the uh, NARS and this is the Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. So I'm just taking a little bit of this all over my eyelid. And I'm just going to blend that in. Just like that. Oops. Next, for a base for the colors to make the colors stand out more, I am using Max Madly Magenta um, Cream Color Base. And then it looks like this. It's kind of in between pink and purple, so I find that um, it works whether I'm doing a pink look or a purple look. And I'm just putting that on the lid and then kind of blending the edge up. And you can't really use too much of these because uh, then your eyeshadow will crease. And just to forewarn you, this will uh, stain your eyelid, um, but I don't. It doesn't really matter to me. So the first color I am using is this one, and it is called Digit, and it's like a really frosty light purple. And I'm going to be using a Bare Minerals um, full tapered shadow brush. I'm going to get a little bit on there, and I'm going to put this on the inner corner, and then up on the lid a little bit. And I'm just going like a third of the way on the lid. And I'm kind of blending that up into the crease and um, onto the brow bone a little bit. So just like that. And this color is what really makes it look like it's glowing. Because um, I don't know, it just has that effect when you when you put it on. And next I'm taking this color right here. And this is Stars and Rockets. And these are all from MAC. And I'm going to put this on the lid. And again, this color has like the effect of like looking like it's glowing. This is basically like a, it kind of has like a pink base. Um, but then because it has a blue uh, kind of sheen to it, it makes it look like it's a purple. It's the oddest color, but it's like one of my favorites. So it kind of looks like a really glowing bluish, pinkish thing. However you can explain it. And the final color for the lid, I am taking Makeup Forever number 92. <laughs> it looks a lot more blue on camera than it actually is. And to put that on, I am taking this brush from Crown Brush. It doesn't have a number or anything on it, so I'm not sure what it is called. But it's basically like a really fat pencil brush. And I'm going to take this color and stick it on the outside and kind of bring it up until like just until you're just like outside the crease just a little bit outside of it and then I'm gonna continue packing this color on okay and then I'm gonna pull it in Just like that. Fix this line a little bit. There we go. And then I am taking this blending brush. This is also from Crown Brush. It's part of the um, 
Luna Badger series. I know that, but I again, it doesn't have a number on it. And I'm just going to take a little more of the Makeup Forever color on the tip and then use this to start blending into Stars and Rockets. I'm also kind of blending up here at the crease. Okay, and then continue to add the color and blend it over. And I just keep doing this until the color is at like the intensity that I like it. You can stop if you feel like the color starts to get a little too intense, but I like it that way. All right, and then I'm gonna take the um, Bare Minerals brush again with a little bit more of the Stars and Rockets and just put it over top a little bit of the Makeup Forever just to um, intensify this color again and kind of have it easier, like a more of a blend between the two colors. All right, and then just blend a little more. All right, now I'm gonna take Makeup Forever number 75 really bright pink and I'm just using this just the littlest bit on this blending brush and I'm using this um, to kind of warm up the uh, crease right here this blended color just adding a little more pink and it kind of just warms it up and makes it a little more vibrant just like that and then I am taking digit again with the same blending brush and I'm just gonna use that to go right over the whole crease part right here. And that part is what really makes it kind of glow when you put the digit like right, right over the top. It really makes it um, glow and look really nice. So finally, I'm gonna take this brush from Crown Brush again, and this one actually has a number. IB 108 Oval Shadow, and this is from the Italian Badger series. And I'm going to take this eyeshadow, which is Brulee from MAC, and I'm just going to use this under my eyebrow. I don't really want a light highlight, so this is really just going to mat out the uh, brow bone and even out the skin tone a little bit, because I do have some um, veins on my eyelids that I like to cover up. And then also it's going to just blend out the edge of the purple. So that's it for the eyeshadow. For this look, I'm not doing anything underneath. Um, you can if you want to. You can probably just bring the colors in the same order right underneath and it would look nice. But I don't want to do that today. Next, I'm going to do eyeliner. And I am using the L'Oreal Linear Intense in Carbon Black. This is my favorite eyeliner, it's so nice. And I'm taking this liner all the way in. And I'm going to do just a little wing. All right, and that's it for the eyeliner. Just a really small, I'm gonna fix that in a minute. 
And then I will curl my eyelashes. And this is just a Lancome eyelash curler. And for mascara, I am using the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash, which is also my favorite mascara. All right, so there's mascara, and that is it. That is the finished look um, for like a glowing, vibrant purple eye. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you liked it. If you want to see more videos, subscribe. I will be doing a lot more makeup tutorials soon. And yeah, so have a great day, guys. Bye.